everybody. In a previous session, we covered the major roles of glutathione, those being summarized by the acronym IDEA. You may remember that the I stands for the immune system, the D for detoxification, the E for energy, and of course, A for antioxidant. In this video, we'll be diving deeper into the D for detoxification, something that becomes increasingly important as time goes on. When Immunical was first discovered, the world population was 4 billion people. Now, it's just about 8 billion people, an astounding doubling in size in one generation. And with this has come an exponential rise in pollution and toxins in the environment. According to the World Health Organization, a shocking 90% of all humanity live in places that exceed safe limits. And air pollution represents the fourth largest threat to human life. More than cancer, more than drug abuse, more than automobile accidents, and more than war. Now, how does our body deal with this? We're adaptable creatures, but even Mother Nature has its limits to abuse. We have built-in mechanisms to attempt to rid ourselves of toxins. We have major organs like the liver and kidneys that specialize in this area. But each and every single cell in our body has its own independent detoxification mechanisms. And key to all of this is our topic today, glutathione. What most doctors don't know, and what most people are not aware of, is that glutathione is also documented to be responsible for the detoxification of literally hundreds of substances in our environment. And this list grows year by year. The air that we breathe, the food that we eat, the water that we drink, Let's just look at a short list of what we depend on glutathione for their detoxification. Pesticides, herbicides, automobile fumes, cigarette smoke, heavy metals like mercury and lead, and the list goes on and on. Smoked or artificially flavored foods, pickled, barbecued or preserved meats, cleaning solutions, paint or carpets, radiation, dental amalgams we are surrounded. We even have a list of new diseases in medical books that we call environmental diseases, like multiple chemical sensitivity, sick house syndrome, even chronic fatigue syndrome has been linked to chemical exposures. An interesting fact is that it is no coincidence that the highest levels of glutathione appear in the liver, our major organ of detoxification. Levels are almost as high in the kidneys for the same reason. However, because of the bombardment of free radicals and toxins, these organs need help in doing their jobs. Fortunately, glutathione detoxifies these substances in a number of different ways. We can get into things like the different phases of liver detoxification that glutathione is involved in, but that would be beyond the scope of this lecture. If anybody's interested in diving into this topic, I welcome you to read my latest book on glutathione that covers this in detail. But to simplify, glutathione can detoxify by neutralizing free radicals. This is one of the common ways that poisons work is through oxidative stress. Another way glutathione works is by making these toxins more water soluble so they can be easily eliminated by the kidneys or digestive tract. A third possible way is by actually having glutathione bind to a toxin and carry it out of the body. This is what we call chelation, especially important for heavy metal cleansing. So, Glutathione really does offer multiple pathways towards a cleaner body. I like to tell people that next to water, next to water, there's probably no greater detoxification substance in our body than glutathione. Finally, a major answer to the question that is so often posed, 
why does a healthy person need to make sure their glutathione levels are optimized? Well, when it comes to detoxification, even the healthiest individuals are on a second by second basis exposed to agents in our environment that can adversely affect our health, our well-being, and our enjoyment of life. Raising glutathione is a must in this hazardous world. Be well, and more importantly, stay well.